just a small video just to talk about the importance of compost, uh, homemade compost. Uh, this garden, the garden itself looks okay, I'm quite pleased with the garden, but the soil, again, it's not clay, it's not stony, it's neither or, it's just mediocre and it hasn't had any nutrients in it at all. Now, we put um, the gardening in week in, week out every time we turn up and it just disappears, it goes, it should be going back in the garden. The smallest of compost heaps would matter. I'm just hoeing the front garden now. We've had this a while and I haven't put any nutrients back in the soil and they need it. Um, compost is one of the best things you can do. I mean, I'm telling you to do it, well, I'm telling you to do it, advising you to do it. And I'm not doing it myself because, you know, the customer's always right. If they don't want a compost heap, then they don't have one. But you could at least ask them and get one. Uh, I'm throwing it out and it pains me to throw it out every time. I just look at it like stick and chips. And it, we need it. It needs it. I'll just go and show you the front garden now that I hoe. And it's fine. It looks fine. But if you listen, you can hear the hoe makes like stony noises. Um, it's dry. It just needs nutrients in it. It needs some compost in it best thing you can do for your flowers and your, your, your plant, your, your border. Uh, the roses, they're very old, but they do grow and they do flower, but they benefit m much better from a bit of compost. So there's the garden and um, we'll go and look at the front, which it's what I call a relatively old style garden. Uh, but nevertheless, a little bit of a compost heap somewhere and we'll get that looking great. So I, I haven't had a word with the customer, but I will. So I'll just spin you around and show you the front. So yeah, it's it's roses, just you know, a few little shrubs dotted around, pretty much um, st standard for sort of an old style garden. But this is what I'm talking about. It's like pretty stony, and listen, you can just tell. I mean, I'm not a soil analyst, but I can just tell even by looking at it. It's like it's not the greatest look. It's probably and underneath there is quite hard. I mean, when you do how you'd only go down a certain. A certain uh, depth anyway but it's more cosmetic how one really just breaks up gets a little bit of air into it and it looks nice but it definitely you can see all these roses the years old now if they haven't been fed for the last I don't know 20 years they're not going to be at their best so good dollop of compost on here would absolutely work wonders um, I'm gonna bring some along even from another job or from wherever I can get it because this definitely needs it just a couple of bags and then I'll have a word and see if she wants to get someone. But yeah, the soil, it's not clay. It's, it's, it, it looks, you know, someone might say it's fine. It's, it's not. I, can, I mean, all the years experience, I can just tell by looking at it. It would do with a good dollop of compost on it. You can't beat it mulching around your plants. So that would be my advice. Try and get a compost bin. As well as it's good for the environment. Everyone's thinking green now. Um, yeah, I'll leave you with that thought. Get a compost heap. Best thing you can do in the garden. See you on the next video. Thanks for watching.